My wife Kate and I went to a memorial service for the father of one of our friends. And a lot of times when you go to a memorial service, you expect to walk out and feel pretty heavy. But we actually felt pretty inspired when we came out of there because of the life that this man had led. And his son got up and spoke about him and said how much he thought of him as a hero and a mentor. And then the clincher for me is when his granddaughters got up and sang for him, sang a duet for him. And then without their parents prompting, both the girls had written out uh, their thoughts about their grandpa. And you just realized that this was the kind of a guy that was gonna give more than he was gonna take. And he was gonna sow into the lives of those that he loved. And they told a story about playing soccer in another town and their grandpa showed up in the pouring rain and he bought all this rain gear. And though there wasn't anybody else in the stands, uh, they talked about their grandpa sitting in the stands in his rain gear just cheering on those girls. And it wasn't what he said, it was what he did. Now that I've got two boys of my own, one's three and one's one, I wonder what's the legacy that I'm gonna leave for them. They may not remember the things that I say, but uh, I hope that they remember the man I was and what I did. I wanna be somebody that sows into the lives of others. I wanna be the one in the stands cheering for them when there's not really anybody else around. Hopefully, They'll remember me as a man who pointed to God with the things that I did. And I'll leave that kind of legacy for them to pass on down to their kids. And that's what Before You Call Me Home is all about. <laughs>